Um, I know it looks like I'm about to tell a scary story, but I promise I'm not. It is now 8.58 p.m. Um, I'm not home yet, and this is today's video. Kind of feels like yesterday's, but this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm sitting here in my car, um, at the back of a parking lot. I've, <laughs> I've got all the lights on, including my flash, and I wanted to talk about the future of the vlogs. Um, and I hesitate even calling them the vlogs. That was never the reason I started making these videos. Um, let me just get into it. So, yesterday marked the four-month anniversary of me uploading content daily. And that's a big deal for me. I don't think I've ever stuck with anything in recent years longer than four months and still have, you know, been just as entertained by it and enthused about it as the day I started. Um, I've tried piano, I've tried guitar, I've tried learning new languages, um, you know, business, <laughs> everything. And none of it really stuck. And I think I found my calling. I'm gonna kill these. I don't want battery to die. Okay, now it looks like I'm really about to tell a ghost story. Cool. So, I wanted to come on here and talk about where I see this going. Um, because this isn't sustainable. Me sitting in a car forcing out content. And I think I realized that yesterday when my post read more like a, you know, a Tumblr blog than an actual video, and that was never my intention with this channel. Uh, the reason I started this and the description I wrote day one was I want to get better at making videos to the point where I can make a short film. And at first this was great. It gave me a chance to shoot on a real camera and edit something and upload it and improve my workflow and all that stuff, but I feel like I've tapped out what I'm getting from this. Um, and by this, I mean these last-minute car videos where I just talk for 10 minutes for the sake of talking. There's no real editing anymore, it's just one continuous shot. And if I mess up, uh, so be it. I've been playing around with a lot of different options on this channel. I've done some bad comedy stuff, I've done some longer stuff, some tutorials, and then these. And I see it in two ways. The first of which is, personally, I think these, you know, sit in your car and record something in one-shot videos are a bit lazy. Um, they're not making me a better filmmaker, if that's what you want to call it, or guy who makes videos. It's just creating something for the sake of another day. Um, oh, if you hear anything, I'm next to a Swish LA drive through <laughs> The other kind of benefit of making these daily vlogs, if that's, I guess, what we're calling them, is it gives me a reason to look back. And that's something a friend told me the other day, and I've been thinking about it a lot. Yesterday wasn't a great day, but a year from now, Maybe I'll look back at that and be like, damn, things were really rough back then, I'm so glad it's gotten better. Or maybe it's gotten worse, maybe it's different. Um, it's a basis for comparison. And it's already been four months, I remember the first vlog I did. It'll be a year before you know it. And I think it's going to be really cool to look back and see, you know, where, what I was doing this day. Um, but that leads me into this. Do other people really care about this? You know, when I started out the videos, I went for the whole clickbait approach. Uh, you know, go do something marginally interesting, make a video exaggerating it, and then hope that gets clicks. It's been four months. I have 63, sub 64 subscribers. Like, it's not about the numbers at this point. Um, 
I thought it was at first, but at this point it's an outlet, which I think is a healthy way of thinking about it. I don't monetize anything. I don't know how to, to be honest with you, and I don't plan to. Um, this is just a way for me to get better doing things I like. But with that said, it brings up the topic of doing things I like, you know? Um, going out there every day and doing something interesting is awesome, and it, you know, lets me get more out of my comfort zone and do more things. But four months ago, I couldn't even talk to the camera. It was the most uncomfortable thing, and it still is to an extent. This isn't... I don't like this, but um, I'm getting better. But it's starting to snow. Um, I think it was snowing earlier today, actually. It is October 17th, 2018. Um, and as it gets colder, I work from home, I'm going to start doing things less and less. And that's just the fact of the matter happens every year. Do I make up random events and stuff like that just to keep a daily streak going? Or do I start reevaluating what this channel is about and maybe get back to the core of it, which was maybe instead of seven vlog type videos and a couple random things thrown in there, maybe it's a piece of content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Maybe it's a vlog on Monday, a, you know, story on Tuesday, and a short on Friday, or something like that. Um, I don't want to do a once a week thing, that's the opposite reason of why I'm doing daily videos right now. Um, I have a tendency to just wait till, you know, Sunday at 11.58 and quickly crank something out and upload it. That's not what I want to do. Um, and I think with daily videos, this is kind of that version of it. It's past 9 p.m., I'm sitting in my car, and I'm going to go home and edit this. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do. I, I think I just wanted to keep everybody in the loop. Going forward, I want to make more shorts. I want to make funny things, scary things, a whole bunch of things. Um, maybe some longer script-based stuff as well. Who knows? But I don't want to do daily vlogs forever. Um, it's nice to look back on memories, you know, I still watch some of them uh, for some of the better weekends I've had because it's it's kind of nice to reminisce and live through that a little bit. But let's be honest, nobody's going to watch October 17th, 2018 a few weeks from now or a few months from now, right? Um, so there's that. And I, I think it's just a bit about balancing the quality versus just pumping something out every day. I don't want to stop uploading because, you know, it's been four months and I, I really like the workflow here. I have the camera pretty much tethered to my wrist wherever I go and that's awesome. But if it means pumping out subpar content and kind of forcing my friends and family to watch it, I don't know if I want that. On that note, for the people that do watch this, especially the boring ones where I'm sitting in a car talking to a bad light source, which is kind of blinding. Um, thank you. You know, not a lot of people watch this, um, especially even fewer people than I know in real life. Nobody watches this, but if you do, that's really cool. I, I don't know why you watch this, but thank you. Um, and I'm curious to see what happens next, you know? I've started writing scripts, I've got ideas coming up, um, I've got friends wanting to work with me on different projects, and I think there are a lot of possibilities, but at the same time, these daily uh, mediocre videos are kind of starting to get in the way of that, just a little bit. So whether I decide to scrap daily videos entirely or work out an uploading schedule, you know, that's what a lot of people do. Um, Maybe I take weekends off, or something like that. I still want to be filming every single day, I just don't want to be uploading bad content. And I, I think that's what it really comes down to. So, give me some time. Um, I'm going to work on a schedule, maybe, for the upcoming whatever. Um, but I, I really think that might be the smartest way to go about it. Just a vlog on a Monday a story on a Wednesday, and something substantial on a Friday. 
because I think three really good videos would mean a lot more than seven other videos.